Going to play a few holes on the simulator today, and there's two things that I want to accomplish. I'll tell you what those are. Let's get started. Hey everybody and welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to try and help your game. And like I said, I've got two things that I want to accomplish out here today. Number one, I've warmed up on the range out here and I want to take the swing that I've been working on now for, this is week number five, for the past four to five weeks. I want to put it through its paces on the simulator, play a few holes and see how it goes, switching between driver and iron and three wood and wedges and all the different scenarios that would be found in a normal round of golf. And the second thing that I want to go over is something that I think I've proven to be true to myself that I'd like to share with you guys today. Let's get started. Hands down, the best golf purchase I've ever made was the indoor golf simulator. And with that comes the complications of which projector to use. I'm not very tech savvy, and if you are tech challenged as I am, it can be very intimidating and you can make some mistakes like I did. Avoid those pitfalls and go to the BenQ website. The link is in the description down below. They've got all of the tools that you need there to make a well-informed, smart decision that will fit your budget and your space. This is the LW500ST, which is golf specific. It's very affordable. There's a link specifically for this model also in the website that will take you right to the projector that I use. Go check them out. Tell them Golf Test Dummy sent you. So let's get started here. I'm going to hit a three wood off of this tee because I feel like I can control it a little bit better. And plus, I don't want to start out with a driver. It's a 372 yard par four. Uh, it is. It does have a little turn to the left, which should favor the draw, but there are trees down the right side. And I don't know if you can pick it out on here or not, but they are right there. So I can't start it too far right. Marcus says if you want the ball to go a little bit straighter and you're playing a shot off of the tee, you almost want to scoop. You give it a little bit of a scoop in some of his videos. Uh, but anyway, I played a round with a very good friend of mine this past weekend, and it did not go well at all. We'll come back to that in a minute. Let me hit this tee shot and see if I can get it to fly somewhat straight and maybe favor the left-hand side. Might be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, it's going to be fine. It's going to bounce back to the right a little bit. That is very good position. 244 with a three wood off the tee here. I'll take that all day. We're just going to keep rolling too. No edits today. I've got a new camera. So I shouldn't have to record in bursts and edit nearly as much. Thank you, God. <laughs> uh, anyway, I had a question from a viewer this past week, and it's not an uncommon question. As a matter of fact, I've had this question several times. And the question was, when I go out to play golf and I'm not filming or I'm making content and I'm not doing a swing review, what is my swing? What swing do I play on course when I'm not doing a review? It's an excellent question. I've got 128 here with a pitching wedge. Uh, just going to try and find something really, really smooth in here. Oh, I left it out a little bit right, but that should be okay. Sit down. Check, check, check. 130, a little off to the right. Probably going to give me a two putt here. Yeah, I'm 28 feet away, should be a two putt, unless it's just being salty today. Not two putt par, save the par. So the answer to that question goes into one of the big things, one of the big lessons that I've learned in doing all of these reviews. And it's a message that I try and get across to you guys as much as possible. Uh, and that, 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 that thought is this. If you are going to make swing changes, if you're going to try and make either complete overhauls or a pretty, a pretty big renovation of your full swing. When you find a philosophy or a teacher or a method or whatever it is that you've decided on that you want to try and put your money and your time into, you can't just do it halfway. It's not like a pull apart junkyard where you go just find pieces and throw it all together and make some kind of a rat rod or a, a Frankenstein's monster. I've tried that in the past and I've been able to make certain things work, but it wasn't without some kind of care and some kind of insight first to put them together. You, you have to adopt and embrace the entire philosophy. That is step number one. All right, I've got 167 yards. That is just a little bit more than my normal eight iron. So I'm going to have to gas this one a little bit and I hope it doesn't end in disaster. 
but uh, short of the hole is better than long here. So let's see if I can't really just juice one out there and get it all the way. No, that came out thin and not good. Uh, that leads me to the round of golf that I played this past weekend that I wanted to tell you about. It was incredibly embarrassing. It was the worst round of golf that I've played in, well, I don't know. <laughs> it was absolutely terrible. I had tops, I had fats, I had slices, I had hooks. I lost three balls and had to drop. I three putted four times. I get a three put maybe once every three or four rounds and I had two back to back and four total three putts. Even my short game let me down at times and that is really my bread and butter. It was a disaster of a day and I found myself as I slunk off of the course and, and tried to hide under a rock somewhere, I found myself asking the question, you know, what happened? Uh, 87 feet here, it's gonna probably be a little up a hill, just try and play a nice little pitch shot up here, see what we can get. Oh man, that checked up really quick. That's gonna leave me about 10 feet. That might one putt me from here, it might not. We shall see, I'm even par currently. And with this one putt, <laughs> I managed to save par, okay. So I asked myself the question, what happened? You've been, you've been striking the ball so well out here. You've been working now on this thing. I think this is week five. You've been working on this, what has happened? And it really ties into the question that I was asked, what swing do I use? The problem with doing what I do and changing your swing all the time, over and over. And this is why I tell you guys to try and avoid it and don't do this. This is the worst thing you can do for your golf game. When you change your swing around that much, sometimes incredibly drastically, and you do it at the frequency that I've done it, uh, you, you don't have a golfing identity. Your identity, it, it doesn't exist. You're like Bruce Willis and the Jackal. There is no just him. There is only the characters that he becomes. So my golfing identity is constantly in crisis. When you stand over the golf ball, you need assuredness. You need confidence. You need very few thoughts. And you just need to go into your, your performance zone. With me, there's all these doubts. There's all these things. All these old swings and methods and, and visions and feelings that I've had of all these different swings, they, they have a way of flooding back into my brain. And uh, it can really wreak havoc. Okay, we've got a short par five here, but you have to favor the left hand side, you have to for your second shot. The trees on the right will block you out. I'm gonna play driver and I'm just gonna let one go loose here. I wanna see if my driver video from last week, if I've learned anything. I wanna try and release it. Get Marcus says to get the draw, you need even more release. And I need to be hitting up on the ball and I really wanna be thinking the palm coming up and smacking the bottom of the table in front of me to get that full release, okay? On the front lead hip, Really want to catch it up, swing inside to out, and let it rip. It's going to turn over, started down the right, it's going to turn over to the left. Did not have the greatest contact on it, but it's okay. It's in the middle of the fairway. I don't know that I got it far enough left to go for this one in two. I might have to just lay up, but... That's okay, not the, not the purest strike in the world, but I'll take it. All right, let's see what we got here. I've got 202 left to the hole. I'd have to go over those trees to get out there, so I think I'm just gonna play a seven iron kind of out here to the left of the trees and leave myself a nice little pitch shot coming in. So just a seven iron layup. Um, but my identity doesn't really exist, I don't have one. And that is just, it is a game killer. It is a game killer. So number one, the first thing, do not, do not do what I do if you want to play good golf. I sacrifice my golf game for a channel. Uh, I made that decision a while back. I said, well, you know, I'm, 
I'm never going to be an extreme high level player. I'm never going to be elite. So I might as well go ahead and try and make a really good YouTube golf channel, which, you know, I hope that I do. Um, so I knew that I was giving that up. But if you want to play good golf, stick with one thing. And when you choose that one thing, this is 36 yards. I don't have much green to work with here. I must have to stop this quick. We're going to have to get it up pretty high. When you choose that one thing, embrace it wholly and fully. Be the right club. Sit. Oh, I carried it just a little too far. Played it too safe. I did not want to end up short. You do not want to be short-sided on this game and having little short chips. They do not. Okay, two putt par. I uh, kind of missed an opportunity there. But when you find something that has promise and you try it, you have to give it time, number one. That's another thing Marcus is saying. You can't just go out for a half a bucket of balls or a bucket of balls, try it, and, and, and expect these just great results and the angels to sing and the heavens to open up and it just be presented to you on a silver platter. No, you have to invest weeks and months and possibly even years to hone it and make it something really awesome. It'll take shorter for some people. It'll take longer for others, but you have to embrace it. You have to give it time. And you have to commit. Don't piecemeal it together. 157. I'm going to play a nice little 8 iron here. Don't try and piecemeal it together. Really stick with the entire philosophy. Don't hook it too much. That might be pretty good. Yep, not too bad. Just stopped a little short. That's okay. I just took some off of it and and left it a little short. 151, 26 feet from the flag gives me a two putt. All right, what do you say? You want to play one more hole? Let's play one more hole. By the way, if you guys are going and following Marcus, he's putting out some great videos right now. He's actually got a five part series that he just started on trying to master the irons and have uh, some really good ball striking. There's some great information in those videos so far i think at this point he's released two out of five and you can be looking for the rest of them all right three wood just trying to go for like a 240 shot here 250 it's okay to start it out to the right ah oh, be be good be good yikes yeah 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 stop just trickles into the rough that's about where i wanted it i don't want to flirt with those bunkers and I'd rather just hang back and leave myself a little bit longer shot rather than risk bot going into that bottleneck with those bunkers. Okay, 156. Uh, the rough is not going to take much off, but it will take some spin off. So we're looking at an 8 iron here. Might have come up a little chunky. It did, but I'm going to get a little roll maybe. And that'll be safe. Probably give me a two putt from there from about 14 feet, seven inches away. I'm currently even par. That should leave me at even par through those few holes. Guys, I appreciate you following along with me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so and click the little bell off to the right and select all in the notifications so that you can get every video a notification for every video. Sometimes YouTube will also play tricks with you. So be checking with the channel to see if you've missed anything. Some of you guys are missing out on some videos and go follow Marcus for sure. If you haven't already, go check him out. It's really simple golf instruction. I'm trying to work my way through it now. This has been week five and I'll see you in week six.